Over the past few weeks, I've received quite a few inquiries from individuals who are curious as to what might be contributing to discomfort in the wrists on pressing exercises. Most commonly inquired as to is the overhead press, the incline press, and the traditional flat bench press. Now, it's interesting because there's certainly multiple factors that could contribute to discomfort in any joint, especially the wrists on pressing exercises. But it is worth noting that every single one of these individuals that happened to reach out to me had the exact same issue. And this also happens to be an issue that shows up most frequently for individuals. And it's often assumed that it's going to be a byproduct of some sort of underlying structural issue, which it definitely could be, and you'd have to have that professionally assessed. It could be the fact that you're lifting a very heavy weight relative to your individual physical capacity and some degree of discomfort may come along with that, sure. But there is a controllable factor that's often overlooked and undervalued, and that is the setup process and the bar position relative to the forearm. Not only when getting the bar unwrapped, but also throughout the execution of the lift itself. So, this is the most common thing I see when assessing these three lifts and other pressing exercises as well. People get into position and they unwrap the bar. And I'll turn slightly here and you'll notice that the bar position is resting on the palms such that it's actually behind my forearms. This is even worse when people employ a false grip where their thumb is on the same side of their hand or the same side of the bar as their fingers. And if you look at my wrist in this position, what you'll notice is that with the bar placed as such, it creates a moment to arm, which is going to result, generally speaking, in you having to exert more force in order to lift a comparable load. Meaning if you have 135 pounds on the bar for an overhead press, with the bar placed directly over the forearm, it might require an eight on the RPE scale in consideration of your individual exertion. Whereas with the bar back behind your forearm, it might now be a 10 or a nine in consideration of rate of perceived exertion. You have to output more energy to move that comparable load because that moment arm has created a longer distance for that force transfer to travel throughout the range of motion of whatever press variation you might be employing. But not just that. Also the fact that now with the bar placed as such, loaded in almost every situation, and even if it wasn't, the bar itself is a load to a degree, you're creating undue stress on the wrist both in the front as well as the back. And this contributes significantly to the discomfort that so many people feel. So what's the solution? Regardless of what specialty bar you might be employing, regardless of what pressing variation you might be executing, you want to make sure that the bar itself is not behind the forearm, but rather directly above it. This is something you have to be conscious of. This is something that you have to strategically set up for. And as I mentioned earlier, this is often overlooked and undervalued such that it's quite simple to do and people realize this, but they just have never considered doing it or prioritizing it. And it isn't until they do that they realize how beneficial it actually is that not only increasing their pressing capacity, but also at relieving a lot of that stress and relative discomfort through the wrist. So understanding that when you grab the bar, you want to make sure that you're aware of the bar position. This is key. A lot of people, when they unrack the bar, they don't even pay attention. So the first point is make sure you pay attention to where the bar is. And it should be positioned, regardless of the press you're employing, such that it's on the heel of the palm, not back behind the forearm from the get-go. Your thumb should be wrapped around. Your knuckles should be pointing upwards towards the ceiling. From here, make sure that you squeeze the bar as hard as you possibly can. And I invite people to entertain the cue of trying to disintegrate the bar with their grip, trying to melt the bar in their hands. That's how hard I want you to squeeze. And the reason why, as you'll see in a moment, is that this is going to ensure that the 
muscles of the forearms are adequately engaged such that they help draw the bar into alignment over the floor. So that when you unrack, as you'll see, that bar is directly over top of the forearms, eliminating that moment arm, which requires you to exert extra force for a comparable load, and also eliminating that backwards wrist position that looks more like this, that creates and contributes to that undue stress and relative discomfort on the wrists themselves. And as you'll see, that bar rolled back because I loosened my grip. If I squeeze the bar as tightly as I possibly can, you'll notice it immediately changes the bar position. Maintaining that grip on the bar throughout the entire repetition, and of course all of the repetitions of the set, is critical to maintaining that optimal bar placement. It is worth noting that when you're moving heavier loads or pushing loads closer to failure, that fatigue will inevitably set in. It is tiring to squeeze the bar that hard. But being conscious of it, strategically setting up as such, and prioritizing that maintenance of bar position or to pressing will make a world of difference long term. So hopefully you can take action on this tip. You can apply it to your own training such that you find some degree of relief when it comes to your pressing variations. If you found this to be valuable information, Please make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel or you follow, depending of course on what social platform you're seeing this on. And as per usual, if you happen to have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you reach out either in the comment section or shoot me a DM. And if it's a piece of content that I can touch base on relative to my knowledge base, you can bet that you'll see it in an upcoming post.